it's Linda, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my current wish list, things that I am really wanting to try. Some of these are brand new products that are just out on the market. Some of these have been around for ages, but I just haven't tried them because I am slow on the uptake. But I also wanted to do a sort of anti-haul because there are a lot of products out there that are brand new that I am so not into the idea of, and I could be wrong. These could be the greatest products on earth, and I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments down below exactly how wrong I am, but they're just not for me. First, let's jump into the list of things I am super into the idea of right now. As you guys may or may not know, I am on a low buy for all of 2019, so I will be purchasing nowhere near all of these. I might not even purchase one of these, but that doesn't mean they aren't on my wish list because I can't be the only one who has a running list on my phone of stuff that I want. You guys have it too, don't even lie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put pictures of all these products right here because I obviously don't have them because they're just on my wish list. Let's start with skin. The very first item that I have wanted to try forever is the Pixie Glow Tonic. Everyone talks about how this is the most glorious skin tonic ever, how it makes their skin look radiant, how they've noticed significant differences, and and it is a drugstore brand. The only reason that I haven't bought this to date is because my target is consistently out of the glow tonic. I have no idea why. They have a big, huge pixie section, but the glow tonic is always... You know what? I'm sitting here saying I have no idea why it's gone, and then also in the same breath talking about how everyone loves it. Maybe that's why it's gone, Linda. Yes, I know I can purchase Pixie products online, but I don't know. I'm one of those like instant gratification girls. Like I love if I can go into a store and buy something, I love being able to grab it and put my hands on it. So that's why I'm hoping that it is restocked soon at my Target. Next on my list is the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. This stuff seems to have amazing reviews. As you guys may or may not know, I do have very dry skin. And while I use a sort of normal moisturizer during the day, I do like to slather on a heavier hydrating moisturizer at nighttime and this seems like it would be fantastic for that plus it is twelve dollars I have spent an obscene amount of money on face cream so if this elf one works and it's only twelve dollars that could be holy grail status the next thing that I'm dying to try and if I want to try it I know I need to get on it quick because I don't think it's gonna be around long the milk makeup cooling water eye patches now I love my skin Iceland eye patches they just sit right under here and they're nice and cooling and do I see any huge difference are my wrinkles suddenly gone no but it is how I like to pamper myself they feel beautiful and for me personally they do reduce a bit of puffiness under the eyes and yes it's only like a temporary reduction of puffiness but that's all I kind of look for in these like I use them before a night out or you know before date night things like that and these milk makeup ones are hella affordable you get six pairs for $22 I am so into that so I really do want to try these eye patches they say that they are nice and cooling and refreshing on the under eyes and I feel like not a whole lot of under eye patches you know claim that they claim we'll get rid of wrinkles or we'll get rid of uh, you know darkness under your eyes things like that I like that they're just like yo this will just cool you down so sort of sticking with skin, but this will branch us over into makeup. There is the Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. This is an oil that you can blend onto your face before or with your foundation, and it's supposed to just give your skin this glow. When I saw all these videos of Drew Barrymore going with influencers and introducing Flower Beauty to them, this was the product that I felt like made a difference in every single person's look. Their skin just looked hydrated and plump and glowing. This product though, because of those videos, I'm convinced, has been sold out for months. It's sold out online. It's sold out in Ulta. It is gone. It's like a ghost product. So if I ever find it again, I will probably be snatching it up because it's only $16 for the bottle and that is hella affordable. Let's go over into makeup. There are two Flower Beauty products I'm very interested in trying. The first is their Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. It is only $10 and I have been absolutely obsessed with the Light Illusion Foundation. It has been my go-to everyday foundation since the day I started using it. And yeah, I've used the other things here and there, but my go-to foundation has been the Light Illusion. It is supposed to be full coverage, it is supposed to be hydrating, and it is supposed to not cake up under your eyes. I know that Jamie Genevieve loves it and still uses it every day. The more I see it, the more I'm just itching to try it. And I can be picky about concealers, so I'm a little nervous about that one, but at the same time, with a return policy, like what do you have to lose? 
There's also the Flower Beauty Warrior Glitter Eyeshadows. These retail for about $11 each, and these look very similar to the Stila Glitter and Glow Shadows, and if I can find a drugstore priced alternative to those, I would be so happy, because as much as I love the Stila ones, they're a little pricey, very much worth it, but just a little pricey. So these looked so pretty. The shade range is beautiful, and I would love to try those out. But, there is also the Stila All Fired Up Glitter and Glow Mini Eye Set. Holy crap, you guys. Like I said, I love, love the Stila Glitter and Glow Set. And this one with all those colors, like those fiery warm colors, that is right up my alley. It might be worth breaking my low buy for. It's just so beautiful, I really love it. And the formula of those is fantastic. I've only had one that I didn't love and I'm not sure, I think it was Smoldering Satin. I still even have it, but I've noticed that that one kind of flakes onto my face a little bit. None of the other ones I have do that. They stick, they stay put, and they are glittery and they're gorgeous and oh, $25 for the set is kind of a good deal even though they're minis. So I have been trying some new things here and there with my eyebrows lately. If you guys saw my last video, you might know that I just bought the ColourPop Clear Brow Gel, I think it's called Brow Boss, and that has been working great. I really liked it, but it turns out that Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a whole new line of brow gels. So I've always used the Anastasia Dip Brow in Auburn, and they're coming out with an eyebrow gel in Auburn. So that seems to be hard for me to find. Like I have to use a clear brow gel otherwise it's like medium brown or ashy brown or light brown and I kind of like to have a red tinge to my brows so I really might have to give this a shot it's gonna be they said it's gonna be nine dollars or eighteen dollars so I'm guessing they might be reduced uh, I'm sorry releasing a mini for nine dollars and then the full size is 18 if so I would love to try out the mini and see if it works for me I love it when brands put out mini size products so that you can try them see if you like them and then buy the full size so with that out of the way let's go into these products that have me completely scratching my head and I'm not sure why they're being released. I found not one, not two, not three, but four eyeshadow palettes that confuse the hell out of me. The first one is the Aether Beauty, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Eyeshadow Palette that is too many adjectives. The second one is also by Aether Beauty and it is the Crystal Grid Gemstone Palette. The third is the Pacifica Love Stoned Natural Mineral Face Palette. And the fourth is the Too Faced Pretty Mess Eyeshadow Palette. Now, all of these are cruelty free. All of them are crystally and pretty and rainbow and gemstone and happy. Here's my issue. I've talked about this in the past, how palette design has been infuriating to me lately. They've been organizing palettes where the shades are twisted and turned and stacked like this into pretty shapes and things like that. And you are wasting so much packaging just to have them in some, you know, shape. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I've never once looked at a palette and gone, you know what? The layout of that palette, that's the reason I'm gonna buy it. I buy it for the color story, for the quality of the shadows. And this to me is so distracting because it is a waste of packaging. I wanna say I mentioned this in a video I did in the beginning of 2018. I'll go ahead and link it up here, but that is just, it's one of my biggest pet peeves and I was really hoping that that would go by the wayside of these palettes where these shadows are scattered or there's just all this empty cardboard around it. Like, no, we're moving into the future where we're trying to reduce, reuse, recycle. We're really trying to be more earth conscious and then these palettes come out that are just wasting so much packaging, I don't understand it. It makes me not even wanna try the eyeshadows inside. Let me know down below, are you guys the same way about that or do you just judge it based on the eyeshadows themselves and you don't kinda of care about the packaging? Then let's talk about the Pretty Vulgar For Real Extreme Volume Mascara. This is the picture I came across and it looks so nasty to me. This is your product shot. This is how you're trying to sell your eye, uh, I'm sorry, your mascara and it is clumped up on the brush. What makes anybody think that it wouldn't just make their eyes look like they had extreme spider lashes? I, I just I just don't understand why this would be the main product shot for your um, for your mascara. Now I've tried pretty vulgar stuff in the past and I've really liked some of it. I've tried a blush, I've tried a bronzer, I've tried a highlighter, but this, nah girl, nah. And finally, the new Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. Now let me say, if I did not have the original Urban Decay Naked palette, I might be interested in this. I might, there's a good chance of it. But what throws me off about this palette, which is the exact thing that is exciting a lot of people, is that 
coral pink shade. This is supposed to be kind of a naked palette, a neutral palette, and I always see these as the palette to sort of transition people into, hey, you don't wear a lot of makeup, try this, and it gives you a bunch of colors to play with and things like that. But that is just, the color just doesn't seem to blend with the other color story in the palette. Does that make sense? I just, I don't see how it fits. So no, I'm not basing my whole judgment based on that one color. I just also don't see anything extraordinary about this palette. When the Naked One palette came out, it was over the top, brand new, and yes, of course there were neutral shadows out there before, of course there were, but this palette was cohesive and it had a story to it and you could use all the colors together and it was unique in that sense. Now, 2019, I just don't see anything really unique about this palette, it just, it isn't blowing my skirt up. So that's it, you guys. Let me know down below what you agree with me on this and what you disagree with me on this because I'm sure there are some. And also, let me know what you're jonesing for. Like, what's the biggest thing on your wish list right now? Like, you're number one. You have money to buy one product. What are you buying? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of my rock star fam. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout, and you are super freaking rock stars. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.